Hello, eighth graders. In the first trimester, we uh, began working on the writing process. As a writer myself, I know just how important this process is because it helps you to remain creative and it helps you to focus on the message that you really want to send across to your readers. So let's go over some of the things that we have studied so far. You have been working on process essays and a process essay, as the word says, is an essay in which you are going to describe or teach or show a process, how to do one or the other thing, how to cook, how to bathe your cat, how to wash your car. Those are examples of process essays. One of the most important things that a lot of you struggled with was being able to identify the thesis statement in an essay. A thesis statement, as we've said many times before, is one sentence, one sentence. And that one sentence summarizes what your essay or your composition is going to be about. What this means is that the person that's reading your composition or your essay is going to tell from that one sentence exactly what you will be talking about. So a lot of times, or most of the times, the thesis statement is found in the first paragraph, the introductory paragraph. So what we're going to do in this class is that I'm going to show you a paragraph, and then there are four simple questions that you need to answer, and that the answer to those questions are what you're going to upload on the virtual platform in a word as a word document okay so let's let's get that going eighth grade process essay introduction some experts believe that breakfast is the most important meal of the day what you have for breakfast sets the pace for the type of day you are going to have Although in Panama, many people opt for fried foods and greasy meats, many prefer a continental menu that includes eggs. It might seem like a simple process, but a whole lot of people don't know how to boil an egg correctly. That's the introductory paragraph. And these are the four questions that you need to answer. Number one, first of all, you need to identify and underline the thesis statement in this paragraph. Number two, Count the amount of words in the paragraph. How many are there? What this means is that you do not count that introduction, the title, eighth grade process essay introduction. You just count from the word sum onto the word correctly. Tell me how many words are there. And this is important because in your assignments, I have been telling you the amount of words that I want in your sentence, and most of you have not been able to follow that instruction. So make sure you do it this time. Count every single word. If you want it to be easier, you can simply uh, shade that part as if you're going to copy or paste it somewhere. Just shade that part, and the word program is going to tell you how many words are in that paragraph. Number three. What process is this essay going to describe? Hmm. And that answer is found in your thesis statement. So if you are able to figure out which of these sentences, remember it's one sentence, which one is the thesis statement, then you'll be able to figure out what process is going to be described. And number four, what would be a creative title for this piece? Now the title is not eighth grade process essay introduction. That's not the title, okay? You have to come up with a creative title. And remember, your title has to be short because if it's too long or too many words or too boring, people are not going to be interested in reading your article or your paragraph or your essay. So make sure your title is short and spicy. Not too short, not two words. Make it short and spicy and attractive so that the person, because that's the very first thing that people read. So when the person reads your title, you want them to say, huh, oh, that's a great title. I'm going to read the rest of this essay. Okay, so what would be a creative title for this piece? Those are the four questions you need to answer. So, hope you understood this. Hope you have fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.